Hello, my name is Dev, and today we'll be going over 64. 64 is a base conversion module, and basically, you're going to have to convert from base 64 to base 2, which is simple enough. Uh, before the bomb even gets here, let me uh, write out the code. Let me write out the first In reality, hours. all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. Since the module is always going to show for uh, digits. So, the, the first power of 64 is just going to be 1. Well, no, the zeroth power is going to be 1. The first power is going to be 64. If I can type. Uh, 64 squared is going to be 496. I mean, 4096, my bad. And 64 squared is a big number, I mean, cubed is a big number. It is 262,144. So, we have the number B, capital B, lowercase g, and 6. So, because this base 64 is weird and not like standard base 64, uh, we're going to have to look at this chart. So as you can see, like, 9, which would normally be worth 9, is actually worth 61. But look, that's neither here nor there. So, we actually take our number, and we put them underneath the respective base, well, not the respective base, respective power for that, and we're going to replace them with their corresponding value, and then multiply them. So, lowercase v is going to be 47, uppercase b is going to be 1, lowercase g is going to be 32, and 6 is going to be 58. Now what do we do here, you may ask? We multiply the, the number on the bottom with the corresponding number on top, and then we add that for, uh, we add that for each column. So we multiply uh, 262,144 by 47, and then add uh, 4,096 times 1, and then you add uh, 64 times 32, and then you add uh, 58. And when we when we plug this in uh, to Google, we give us a giant number of that, I'm not going to bother saying it, we're going to convert this number to base 2, or binary. Now to convert it to binary, uh, we will have to uh, get the various powers of 2, and find the one that is, uh, find the biggest one that is, uh, that is smaller than the number we currently have. So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 12 million. So, the first number that does uh, that fits that category is uh, this one. So, so we subtract these two numbers, if that is smaller than me, no it's not, I can't count, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, oh, that's eight billion, not uh, eight million, okay, my bad. So. We take 8 million, since that is the smallest, uh, that is the highest space that is below uh, the current value we have. And because it is lower than that, and it does fit into, uh, does give us a positive result, we put down a 1 for that. We put down a 1 if, uh, if we can subtract it from our current number, and we put down a 0 if we can't. So. So, uh, we cannot subtract 4 million from this number, so we put down a 0. We can, however, subtract 2 million. So, we do that. And since that, uh, that does give us a, yeah, that doesn't give us a negative number, we put down a 1, and we grab our new result. We then subtract, uh, the next power of 1, I mean, the next power of 2. Oops, that does not. There we go. Since that does go into uh, 
the current number we have, we subtract that and put down the 1. Oops. Okay. The next number can uh, be subtracted. So, uh, let's see. So it's minus whatever it was, this. Oops. Yep, there we go. And since it can be subtracted, we put down a 1. We take our new number. Uh, and we subtract this. And that gives us a new result of 6202. We put down a 1 for that. We can we can subtract uh, 131,000. Uh, nor can we do 65,000. Nor can we do a 60, uh, 32,000, nor 16,000, nor 8,000. We can, however, subtract uh, 4,096. So that uh, minus 4,096 will give us uh, 2,106. And we put down a 1 since we can't subtract it. Oops, that's that. Okay. And now we. Uh, we can subtract 2048, so we put down a 1 for that, and we get a new result of 58. Okay. Uh, we can subtract 1024, nor 512, nor 256, nor 128, nor 64. We can subtract 32, however, and 58 minus 32... Uh, is 26. Uh, we can subtract 16, so we put down another one for that. Uh, we can't. Uh, oops. That gives us 26. We subtract 16 to give us a 10. We subtract 8 to give us a 2. So that is. Last count. Uh, 2, 4, 8. So that's this one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay. And we put another eight since uh, we put another one since it uh, since it is divisible, not divisible. Since we can subtract an eight, we can subtract a four, so we put down a zero. We can subtract a one. Uh, I mean a two, which gives us zero now, and we can subtract one from zero, so that gives us a zero. We then input this entire string into uh, into the module. So that is 101. Let me space this out into groups of five. There is no delete button, by the way, so you have to commit. So it is 10111. 1000. I believe I did three O's. Then O one one O O. Then O O O one one. Then one O one O. And the way you submit, which I actually forgot how, uh, hold the green button. Also, I, I lied. You can reset the module by holding the red button. I just forgot how to submit and re reset. So, uh, I did I did another example earlier, but I actually mistyped something, and that just messed everything up. So now we have lowercase h, capital P, capital A, and lowercase k. Uh, I should mention, however, that it does reset on a strike completely. Lowercase h is going to be uh, 33. I should just do an insert. Uh, uppercase p is going to be 15. Uppercase a is going to be 0. And lowercase k is going to be 36. So we have. Uh, so we multiply these two numbers 144 times 33. Oops. And we add. Uh, the product of these two numbers, so 4096 times 15. 
this, uh, since 0 times anything is 0, we can just leave this, and 1 times 36 is 36. So, we get, uh, we get a number of 8 million, and blah blah blah, I don't care enough to say the full thing. So, the lowest power of 2, well the highest power of 2, that's just under this, is 8 million yada yada yada. And we put down a 1 for that. Okay, and that gives us a new value of 323,620. Uh, 4 million cannot go into it, nor can 2 million, nor can 1 million, nor can 524,000. However, 202 million, uh, 202,000 can. So, we take these and we subtract them. I should already, I should probably split these up into groups of five. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. And we get a new result and we go down the list again. This cannot go into uh, 61,000, nor can 65,000, however 32,000 can. So, we take this, and we subtract it. And that gives, that gives us a new number of 28,708. The question is, did I put down a 1 for it? Yes, I did. Okay. Now we subtract, uh, next thing in line is 16,384, put down a 1 for that. And that gives us a new number of 12324. Hold on. Let me double check. It's one zero 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 one. It's one zero zero zero. Z. Okay, yep, I didn't miss a digit so far. And now we subtract 8192, since that's the next one that is just below it. Uh, and that gives us 4132. They put down a 1 for that. This is the thing I hate about this module, is you can just lose track easily. So, uh, let's see, so I have one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, one, 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 okay, hold on, okay, and now we subtract 4,096, put down a one for that, and that gives us a 36. Next power of 2 is uh, 2048. That cannot fit, nor can this one, nor can 512, nor can 256, nor can 128, nor 64. 32 does uh, fit into that, so that becomes a 4. 16 does not fit, 8 does not fit, 4 does fit, and the rest will be zeros. Okay. So now we input the sequence. So it's one, one, two, three, four, then 
one zero zero one one then uh one 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 two three then one two three zero then zero one zero zero hold this <laughs> And I think that's all I have to cover for, uh, for 64. If you ever want to check your answer, you can, uh, you can go back and add up the various powers of 2. So, uh, so, for example, we had, uh, 8 million blah blah blah. So, we can, uh, since this is the highest digit and we have 23 digits, we add the 23rd, so 8, 3, 8, 8. 608 plus uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So 262 144 plus 0, 0 plus 32 768 plus uh, I believe it was 16 yeah plus 16 384 plus uh, 8192 plus, uh, 4096 plus, uh, the next power of 2 that we had was, uh, 32, so plus 32, and then plus 4. And that gives you your, uh, the, and if you do that, uh, then you'll get your original number. But other than that, that's all I have to cover for 64. If you enjoyed that, uh, well, if you learned it, good job. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below.